What is going on, everybody? here, and today I got some amazing Dragon Ball Xenomars information for you guys. But before we start these videos, I need you to watch two things. One, watch the trailer, it's linked in the description below. It's like a minute long, it'll take you a couple seconds. You'll get really excited, watch it's awesome. Two, watch the online lobby gameplay that they showed at TGS as well, which showcases your character free roaming online in Toki Toki City. Watch both of those videos, they're linked in the description below because we're about to talk about them. If you've already seen them, then hang tight in a couple seconds, we'll, we'll go over it. Um, but if you haven't seen them, Click them right now and come back in two seconds. <clears throat> Alright, is everybody back? Alright, first things first, how amazing was that trailer? Now, I was already excited about Dragon Ball Wars. I mean, I am pretty stoked about that game. But after seeing that trailer, my excitement just went into Super Saiyan God form. Like, I cannot, like, I cannot contain my excitement. It's just that awesome. Uh, but uh, let's talk about a couple things that we, <clears throat> that we saw. Sorry, my throat is like, <clears throat> freaking, <laughs> like, super dry right now. Um, let's talk about what we actually saw in that trailer. So first things first. I want to point out something that I noticed that's kind of really weird. If you looked at Raditz and Cell in that trailer, their eyes were glowing red, but like, that's not their characters. Uh, in the middle of them attacking, when, when Cell's attacking Gohan, and when, and when Raditz are getting attacked by Gohan, they might just not like Gohan, maybe. I don't know, it's like a weird thing. But uh, as they were getting attacked by uh, Gohan's, <laughs> Super Saiyan Gohan and, and Kid Gohan, their eyes just turned menacingly red. It's, it's as if they went evil, evil, because they were already evil. So they're like super evil, I don't know. There's something controlling them. Now remember, we did talk about how Toa, well, one of the new uh, villains, is able to brainwash people. So I wonder if she has something to do with these new evil characters. Now, I don't I don't know exactly what the story is. It's just something I noticed. And I told you, Toa, based on the Dragon Ball Wiki and her experience in Dragon Ball Online, she was able to brainwash people. So I feel like she might have something to do with that. Now, I don't know how legitimate that is. It's just my theory, so don't take that as my word. But, I don't know, it's just something I wanted to point out that there's like evil, evil characters or something. The other thing I want to point out is, is remember when we told you that uh, the Time Patrol, which is your character, and Time Patrol, time patrol Trunks, <laughs> it's a tongue twister, Time Patrol Trunks, Time Patrol Trunks. Say Time Patrol Trunks really, really fast, ten times. If you can do that, uh, let me know if you do that. I can't do that. Time Patrol, Time Patrol, I can't do that. Okay, <laughs> Alright, <laughs> back to what I'm saying. Um, uh, as you travel through the time streams, uh, it causes rifts, and that changes the story completely. So if you look at this screenshot with the, with the, with the wow, can I talk after saying that after saying time patrol trunks? <laughs> if you look at the screenshot, it shows only Goku getting hit by the special beam cannon, instantly killing him, and Raditz is in the background. So I think like part of the story is since the time stream was so screwed up with Trunks going back in time uh, originally, uh, I think the uh, it ended up creating all these different uh, universes, multiverses, or I guess the Xenoverse, uh, Xenoverses where. Uh, or basically, the time patrol has to go back and fix it. So I feel like now that Raditz survived in this time stream, someone has to go back and fix it and make sure he dies. Because he's supposed to die, otherwise who knows what can happen. And if you also notice, that they showed Goku Super Saiyan 3 facing off against uh, Boo. And then the next screenshot, they showed Super Saiyan 3 Goku on the ground. And what looks like Boo behind him, I can't tell who it was, but it was somebody behind him. But uh, uh, the point that I'm trying to point out is, it shows a lot of uh, major events going opposite way of what was supposed to happen so it's actually gonna be really interesting to see this play out throughout the story and I'm really really excited about that so yeah that's just a couple things I want to point out if you noticed anything specific about the Dragon Ball Z universe trailer drop it in the comments below and uh, let me know so we can talk about it yeah but again if you really like that trailer leave a like rating below cuz I am freaking hyped like let's see how many people are uh, getting on this hype train for Dragon Ball Z universe that's coming out really soon speak of which the uh, release date has been somewhat hinted at, not really a release, but we're getting Dragon Ball Z Universe in early 2015. Now, of course, when the official release date gets announced, I will let you guys know, so make sure you stay tuned to my channel, and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we shall, or I shall keep you informed. And, uh, and yeah, so that's the stuff that I want to talk about the trailer. The next thing I want to talk about is the actual online gameplay. Now, remember I told you as... Um, in Dragon Ball Zeros, when you create your character, you can actually go online in the lobby in Toki Toki City and walk around. And as you can see in that video that I told you to watch, um, it, show, it shows the Redhead Warrior, which is obviously Banan Namco, and a bunch of other people online, which is probably Banan Namco staff and stuff. But did you see how you can walk around and just like, you know, interact with people? Like, they even have emojis and stuff where you can wave, you can dance, do Ginyu Force poses. Uh, so that's really, really awesome. I love, I love being able to do that. I know what it is. Like, in games like... Wow, excuse me. In games like Destiny, being able to just like wave and dance, it's just, I don't know, it's just like those little things in life, you know? And I'm glad that they added that little th um, interaction type of thing in the game where you can just walk around, wave at people, dance with them, and stuff like that. That's really, really awesome. I like that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is, is the character that you create is not like bound to you for the rest of the story. Well, it, it, he, is, he or she is bound to you, but like in terms of what you put on that character, it's not completely bound. So like the um, red-haired warrior... 
he didn't have to wear that jacket for the rest of the match. So, because like if you watch the trailer, well, not the trailer. If you watch the lobby gameplay, they show uh, the redhead warrior actually changes outfit in the middle of the game. So that's actually really really cool. So like if you end up creating a character and you like are an, as undecisive as I am, you don't have to stick with the clothes that you chose for. I mean, obviously you still have to keep playing as the same character. But I'm actually glad that they added the ability for you to change your clothes and accessories and you know facial hair, whatever, at any point in the game, and that's really 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 cool. So yeah, so so that's basically just little, little things that I want to point out. And again, uh, from the way that they described they wanted the game to work is, is when you go online, you can uh, interact with other players, you can battle them, you can uh, join them in co-op, you can do all sorts of fun things, and that's what's going to make Dragon Ball Z Universe one of the best Dragon Ball Z games yet because that freaking level of online is just amazing to me. So yeah. Anyways, guys, so that's kind of uh, the new bits of news that we got out of TGS so far. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more stuff. The Dragon Ball Xenor's beta for the Japanese beta is going, to go, is going to be going live soon, and I have it, so I expect to upload some gameplay, hopefully, as, as long as I'm allowed to. I mean, I'm, I was told I'm allowed to, but just in case something happens, you know, we'll, you know, we'll just have to like kind of go from there. But uh, if everything's cool, expect some Dragon Ball Xenoverse online gameplay coming out very, very soon on my channel. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe right now and get ready for some amazingness this weekend. So yeah. Of course, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them below. I mean, I don't know everything, but I do know a lot of it. So if you have any questions or are confused by anything, I'll be more than happy to answer that. So we'll just take it from there. Anyways, guys, be sure to leave a like right below if you enjoyed this video. And I will see all you awesome people in the comment section below. Peace.